know, this is something that I take very seriously and something that impacts me greatly. I moved my business to downtown Brooklyn because at that time, the Bogolan Shopping District, now known as the Fulton Area Business Association, had one of the largest concentrations of black-owned businesses throughout New York City. It was a thriving and exciting time, as all of you know, to see all of these businesses flourishing. Even at a time where people, when they discuss that time, will talk about Brooklyn and say, you know, 10 years ago there was nothing here. Well, we were all here, and we were working, and we were thriving, and we had a very um, serious economic platform at that time. One of the things that I created, or one of the things that I saw, it's not so much that many small businesses are having a hard time, although they are. I would say that my focus is going to be on businesses of color, because there are many businesses that are opening up and springing up all over the place, but at the same time while that's happening, many businesses are of color are closing. So one of the things that I did as the executive director of the museum was I created a program called Soul of Brooklyn. This is just something that I was able to do on a small level where we bring greater visibility to local businesses by having an annual block party every year. We raise $250,000, so for the next two years we're going to be doing block parties that promote uh, cultural institutions and business partnerships in order to bring greater visibility. But one of the challenges that I've seen is that from the New York City Tourism <coughs> Company to the Borough President's Office, many of them are not promoting Brooklyn as a destination for an African diaspora experience. So many other cities throughout the country recognize that they have these great populations of people of African descent. You can go on a blues tour. You can go on a jazz tour. You can go on a soul food tour. You can go on a shopping tour. You can go on a, on a, a district of African American historical sites and all of these different things. That would seem like, of course we should do that, but none of those types of programs exist. And because we are not bringing tourists from all over the world to experience what they're hearing about in a Biggie Small song or a Little Kim song that's going all over the world and people in Japan are listening to it. When they get here, everyone wants to know, where does Biggie live? Where does this one live? Where did this one grow up? They want to see this culture. It seems so commonplace to us because we're like, oh, over there. But this is a really serious culture. Hip hop culture is very much known and connected to Brooklyn. And how can we connect that with our local businesses? So I believe, it, and being in your next city council member, one of the things that I'm going to do is to promote the African diaspora and Latino Asian experience here in Brooklyn, New York, let people know about these different restaurants and shops, make sure that it's included in the New York City Tourism Board, make sure that they're promoting it, and not just promoting it in brochure only, I want it in the, the Sky magazines, that you're on the plane and you're going to Japan. You should have been reading about Cake Man Raven and that they had the best red velvet cake. You should have been reading about that. So because we are being excluded from tourism practices, that there's no reason why businesses in Brooklyn should be closing, particularly businesses of color at the height of our economic prosperity. I'm going to make sure that people know about these different programs. We have tourism packages that bring people specifically to Brooklyn, New York, so that they can participate and benefit and shop with our local businesses.